Okay, this is the method I use to create a um, high quality stencil. So I'm just going to make sure my layer palette's up. Um, I've got my image, I've cut that out. I'm just going to go to adjustments and uh, desaturate the image to make it uh, like a black and white image. I don't want to get rid of my color information totally. Um, I just want to just have it desaturated. Next I'm going to make some rectangles. This is going to be used for when uh, later on when we print out each of the layers as a separate sort of object. I want to be able to line them all up uh, later on in my stencil. So again this is more for a high quality stencil. It's not a quick and easy way but I think it's the best way to get uh, the best detail for each of the layers uh, when you're putting it all together. So I'm just going to um, merge those layers so that I've got uh, my squares that I've drawn and the skull uh, on the layer. Next I'm going to create a few layers. I think I want to do probably a like a four uh, layer stencil. So I'm going to make a light layer. So I'm duplicating the layer. So I just right clicked and select duplicate. And I'm going to do that a few times. I'm going to make it the lightest layer, medium layer, uh, keep duplicating, and make a, a dark layer. And then I'm going to uh, right click again, or I can just probably change this name just by clicking on the name to the darkest layer. So I've got lightest, medium, dark darkest layers. So separate layers. Each of these I'll print out as a separate layer. Um, so I just click on the eyeball and then I'll just print it and that's how it will be a separate uh, layer for each of my things to cut out. Now I'm just going to do the lightest layer now and this is where I play with the threshold. I'm going to turn the threshold right up almost as high as I want. I could probably go right to the end, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to like just stick it here. So, of course, that is everything that is light. So it's going to be my sort of lightest color. Maybe not white. Probably be a real light gray, or a, um, maybe a yellow if I'm going to do a multicolor sort of stencil. The next one I'm going to a medium. So I'm getting the medium sort of stuff to pick out of it, and go OK. And uh, just clicking on the eyeballs, if I don't have the eyeball selected, I can't um, actually do anything with the threshold. So if I, you know, if I don't have the eye selected, I won't see any of the threshold stuff. You've really got to make sure that um, that you've selected. You know, I can't select anything. I can't really make a mistake on a layer if it's if it's not visible. So I'll make sure that the eye is selected. And then suddenly I'll have adjustments and threshold. So I keep playing with this as I go through. Um, as I said, I can then I can you know once I've done all of these layers, I can then print them out and um, and cut out the layer and then just spray everything as I go. So the last one is going to be. Uh, like, you know, I could almost just say that's going to be the black, like the, the blackest layer. So I really just want almost, you know, the black sort of outlined edges to um, my shape in there. So that's all my layers. And I'll put them all together and, and I won't see much of a difference between all of these. And if I wanted to, I could recolor each of the layers parts and... Um, and then overlay it and I'll get an idea of what it would look like. Um, I'll show that in a, in a separate sort of video uh, when we uh, get to that stage. So what I've got now is I'm going to just put some text on the layers just so that when I print them I'll know which layer I'm cutting out because it can get confusing especially when the layers all kind of look the same. So I'm going to Select this one and just type in here, lightest, um, layer, and that's above that one, 
So I'll just get rid of that and go down here to medium layer. I probably want to make everything not visible, like so. And I'm just going to do that to all of the other layers, just so that when I print it out, I'll know exactly which layer is what as I do my spraying. And that's pretty much it. So when I go to print it, I'm going to print out each of those layers separately just by clicking the eyeball on each separate layer and then printing them out. Okay, I'll see you in the next tutorial.